Okay, okay, let's right know. There. Back in the day, New York was a safe haven for slaves who ran from the south to the north to be saved. But this story was not always the same for one zero in New York, bound in chains. Yet this part of history don't seem to remain. After all the struggles and strive, New York, we gotta keep their memory alive. We can't tell half the story and throw the other in the wind. That should be a sin. That just ain't a good look. Their story deserves a place in our history books. So join us on this walk. Let's talk and share of all the events that conspired here. We must not let decay the history of New York slavery days. Hey, I'm here with one of the tour guides and we have a little opportunity before everything really gets underway to uh, talk to them and, and find out about the project and and you know their feelings about it and I know this young lady I recognize her from last year so she's an old pro so tell it tell us about yourself and 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 uh, how you got involved and, and so on and so forth okay um, my name is Christina Thompson I'm a senior at Law Government Community Service High School in Queens great Heights. is um, that at the old Andrew Jackson yeah, High School Andrew Jackson. okay my wife went to Andrew Jackson every, my uncle, and, my aunt, and she lived there. around the corner on Nashville Road. You know where that is? Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Um, basically what it is is we're providing this tour to elementary school students, junior high school students, high school students, just students of New York City to basically inform them the truth about New York. Like New York has a past. Slavery is New York's past. Many people don't think that because it's a northern state and people know the north as being a state that helped the slaves free themselves and gave them opportunities. But before all the freedom, New York had slaves. So basically And not not enough people are aware of that. Yeah. We're trying to put it back into history. That's that's how we go. So put it back into history right, books, right. you know? Like Alan Singer, Professor Alan Singer, he organized this right. and, and my teacher Mr. Bazon. Their goal is to have this on the regions, to have this in the history books, to have this where it's taught in school. Like, yeah, okay, New York wasn't like one state. of the standards helped, and one of the yeah, right. so we were slaves here in New York. So um it's basically like I'm the greeter, as you know, here last year. Right. I greet you guys and then you go on a towards east side where something historical happened so we can let you know that's great yeah. well, well thank and you so much and from last year India yes Lowen. I recognize her too how you doing you did a great yeah. job and you thank always you. do a great job thank you my pleasure to come down here and try and capture this okay. yeah so we're here law government community service affiliated with Hofstra University trying to bring awareness Hofstra! Hofstra! we're going to Hofstra we're going great. to Hofstra great
if you don't trust me, New York was the land of slavery. AT&T and Citibank, just to name a few from slaveholding ranks. They bought and slaves all the time. So we want to know just where are the signs. Uh, they bought and sold these doors of slaves. You got it with just the South and you got played. Read the books and you explain to see. New York was the land of slavery. Back in the day, New York was a safe haven for slaves who ran from the south to the north to be saved. But this story was not always the same. For once in New York, they were bound in chains. Yet this part of history don't seem to remain. After all their struggles and trials, New York, we gotta keep their memories alive. We can't tell half the story and throw the other in the wind. That should be a sin. That just ain't a good look. Their story deserves a place in our history books. So join us on this walk, this talk and share of all the events that conspired here. We must not let decay the history. Yeah, yeah. Every day. There we go. Now we're gonna have tour guides take you guys on a tour along Lower Manhattan where you're gonna learn different things about New York and slavery. So have fun, be safe, and listen up.